Hello everybody, I have come to Pool in uh, Dorset and in particular I've come to this particular pier which is called Lake Pier um, which is actually on a, on a beach so it's not really a lake. I suppose you'd call this more of an estuary because it's, there's, there's, the sea is around somewhere. It's just it's a bit of inland. And the pier here is absolutely fantastic. The idea of coming here actually was to do some long exposure. But it is so bright right now. I, you know, I was going to stop down. I was going to use my ND filters, make it really, really nice. There's some nice light coming off the water. I know a lot of time you'll want to uh, stop that. You'll want to take that out. Um, but what I've actually found here is quite a nice shot uh, with this random kind of <laughs> concrete block uh, in the middle uh, of it and some boats in the background. Uh, so I think I'm still going to do the long exposure uh, and I'm just looking for a place where I can be to do that long exposure. I think there's a there's a bank down there that might uh, might just do the job. Um, but uh, it's not going to be quite uh, like I like I expected. I have just got a shot actually of the pier itself, and it was quite nicely framed because there there's two fishermen on it, and then there's a boat right in the middle of it. And I'm not sure it's, it'll be a silhouette because the sun is far too bright to actually you know give you a lot of colour and everything. But I think that's quite interesting. So. Uh, I'm gonna, there's also some benches over there I might have a quick look at before, uh, uh, before I get going. But that's what we're here uh, doing today. And this is the picture of that pier. And what I quite like about it, in fact I think this is possibly the best shot that I got of the day, uh, but you'll see some of the others a bit later. What I quite like about this one is that you've got symmetry in the shot. First of all, you've got that boat right in the centre of the pier, which I think is quite lovely. Uh, but you also have, off to the left and off to the right, you've also got boats that kind of mirror that uh, as well. And as well as that, you've also got these fishermen at the end of the piers as well. Now, it would have been a little bit nicer if that one boat was a little bit further along, but it was a difficult thing to frame because all of these boats were actually moving at the time. So I couldn't guarantee that I would have got... Uh, anything in the right position. However, as I've got it, I'm actually quite pleased with this shot. And I uh, did a black and white edit, just really uh, because it felt right at the time. Okay, so I have found the first composition and I've just been uh, setting this up. Uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see it on screen. It's, uh, in fact, you should be able to see it on screen. Um, what I've got here, uh, there's a really nice little um, pillar of concrete, which is just in the in the the foreground here, um, which I, I can't point because it's so long away. I, I can't point and, and, and show. And then there's some boats behind. And what I'd really like to do is get this as a long exposure so that it really uh, makes that sea really nice and. Um, and, and flat, uh, but I can't do that, of course, without having some of these on uh, these uh, ND filters uh, that you'd have seen me use on the channel before. And in order to figure out what I need to do for this, I'm going to use an app on my phone called Photo Pills. Okay, Photo Pills, which is here, and we're going to use Photo Pills in order to determine how long, how big an ND filter that we need. Uh, the other problem, of course, is that uh, we're on a pier, which is wood, and people walking up and down makes everything jot around. So the longer the exposure, actually, in this case, might be the better. Um, I'm just going to stop recording here uh, and go over the settings for you. Okay, so so far uh, I have got it on. Where are we? 2 50th of a second at f8, which means you should get a good uh, depth of field. We're focused in the bottom right hand corner of this uh, because that's the bit, that pillar is the bit that we're interested in getting in, in shot. Um, I'm putting this at an ISO, at the low ISO, which is 80, uh, and I'm doing this at f8, which is a good, a pretty good uh, for, for the lens. So, uh, with that in mind, what are we going to want? Now, that's on. 
L, I want to put this on S, so it's a single shot. Uh, don't forget, of course, you've got your two-second timer on there before we do anything else. Right, I don't want my depth of field tables. There's a brilliant app here that you've got so much information on. So if I go into exposure, um, I can say at a 10 stop settings at ISO 80 and F8. Okay, so now I put my test settings in and I know that it's about right, F8, uh, one, uh, where are two, was it 250? Uh, one 250th of a second. Uh, ISO of 80. And I'm going to put a 10 stop filter on. And that means that my shutter speed should be four seconds, which isn't too bad. And that's something I can actually do uh, on the camera rather than having to release it in bold mode. Uh, so we'll put that back on. We're going to put this in to T mode and then the shutter speed we're going to put to four and this is where it's going to get difficult because I'm going to have to get onto the front of the camera which is around here in order to put my 10 stop filter on. Now uh, because of where the scene is I don't actually need uh, a polarizing filter which is pretty good Make sure I get the right one here. And, 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 and got that. I've got now the last time, the last time I went to a beach, I got the camera completely covered in uh, in rubbish. Uh, so I'm going to brush this off. I got, had to buy myself a new brush uh, in order to do this. What I can't do here is move the camera. So I'm going to have to move and hope that I don't move the camera inadvertently. and hopefully this will all go well. I'm gonna turn you off and I'll come back when this is all put on. Okay, the ND filter is on. We have our camera set to four seconds. Now, I'm not sure this is gonna quite give me what I want. And I think I might want to do a 30 second one afterwards just to see the difference between the two. That might mean me putting the six stop filter on the front as well. Uh, we'll see how that goes. But for now, uh, four seconds, F8, uh, ISO of 80, everything looks pretty well balanced. I'm going to press the button there, leave it for two seconds, and three, two, one. Okay, let's see what we get out of that. And that's not bad, actually. That's, uh, it's got a bit of shape to the water, uh, uh, but it actually, it, it's a bit, it's a little bit dark, if I'm, if I'm honest. And it's not quite what I was expecting. It's not bad. There's far too much uh, see at the beginning here, at the front. Uh, and I think I might have to just change the composition slightly here to deal with that a little bit. Now, part of that's going to be moving in as much as I, I can, which I've got, which is fine. Um, part of it is just going to be lining this up properly. We really want this to be at the bottom uh, right of the picture so that you can see everything else. So, which is easier said than done on a ball head, I'm telling you. Uh, I could really do with a leveling plate here, so I wouldn't have to deal with that. Uh, but that'll do. Uh, it, this, is a little, this is a little bit off. I will fix it in post, which I wouldn't normally say to something like this. Uh, so I'm going to take another picture, just focus on that, and then do that. Another picture at the four seconds, just in case I think the four second one, when I get it back into Lightroom, is actually what I wanted. That's good. Okay, we'll have another quick look at that. That's looking a bit better. Okay, I can, I can see the boats behind, that looks pretty cool. Uh, right, so, uh, now I wanna do 30 seconds. I just, I just do. Um, okay, so, photo pills again. We're gonna work out what this is uh, in 30 seconds. So, uh, if I put on, 16 stops. I'd need four minutes. Wow, that's a lot. How do I do this? I want to. I want to get my. I want to. I want to get my aperture out of this. I guess. Um, I want that to be 30 seconds. I need 2.8, I can't do 
Uh, what about with the 10 stop filter on? I need F22, F22, I can do. Right, so we'll change this up a little bit. So first of all, that four needs to go other way. Thirty, and the F needs to go all the way up to twenty-two. We're going to focus this again. Everything else is exactly the same. And we're going to let that off for thirty seconds. If you can let anything off for thirty seconds, that's uh, that should that should. Um, get rid of any any water things. Now, in the past, I've done some really long exposures, some like 15, uh, not 15 minutes, eight minutes I've done a couple of times with the, uh, with the big filters on. Um, you don't always need that. Now, I am noticing that in my shot that I'm doing over 30 seconds, a boat, a big speedboat has walked, gone through it. And now that's interesting. It, it looks all right. There is a a bit of a problem uh, just a little bit back where a boat is actually coming into into frame here and of course is constantly moving uh, but actually that's not too bad um, and I might do this once more actually because uh, that boat's not not uh, there not moving anymore uh, so let's do this again and let's focus stack this as well so I'm going to do this as 30 seconds here and hope that nothing much moves whilst this is going on um, of course, the good thing about this is anything that does move and move fast enough is going to go through the frame and the camera is not going to pick it up. So little bits of movement, the movement that the wind is doing right now, not a problem. Um, the boat that's coming in right now, I, is it a boat or a paddleboard or something like that? Uh, I can, I, because it's moving, I will get some problems with the shot, but here we go because he's right in the shot right now, but you can't see it on the, on the thing. Uh, there is a little bit of a, uh, a line on the thing. Okay, that's great. The boats in the background are much more of a problem. Um, so I'm gonna focus on the background this time and do the same sort of thing. But the problem, of course, is that those boats are moving, constantly moving. And so this 30 second shot, is not going to work for them because it is going to it is going to be moving, uh, but it's worth trying as a focus stack to see what happens. Uh, and of course, the great thing about uh, the equipment that I've got is that we should be able to use that. Put a, a nice sky behind it if it needs it. Turn it to black and white perhaps if it needs it. Uh, see what we can get out of it uh, when we get back into Lightroom. Okay, there we go. I do just want to check this, but I've got a bad feeling that this isn't going to work. Yeah, you're still, there's so much movement on those boats in the background uh, that it's still not working particularly well. Let's get back out there. But this other one that we've got, which is focused on the right part of the image, I think we could do something with that. So um, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to do this once more. And I'm going to do that for a reason. I think F22 is a little bit too dark and I'm going to put it at f16 which is lighter obviously um, I hope that this isn't going to be uh, overexposed but we'll do the same thing 30 seconds um, I have noticed sometimes when I put these filters on that the times that I get on the apps not just this one but the big filters uh, Lee filters apps as well isn't quite what I need to put into the camera and it does need to be fudged so taking a couple of pictures and seeing how that works is fine obviously if you're doing a longer shot if you're doing like eight minutes or 15 minutes you don't want to have to keep taking shots after shot uh, in this case though not so much of a problem let's see what we've got out of that now that is better straight away much brighter uh, I'm not sure this is in focus you know I'm not sure that is in focus at all. And I think, I don't know which part of that is in focus. It is. The water's looking great. The water's just what I wanted. Um, 
the boat that is moving on there, not so much, but the water is looking really, really nice. Uh, I, okay, let's, let's try this again, and only we will zoom in here, and I'm going to put this on manual focus. Uh, right, that way, manual focus, and I can use the focusing ring here to really dial in. And what I've been able to do is zoom right into, the, into this bit, so I know this is in focus. And the only thing uh, that will cause any, any problems with this, potentially, is the fact that the camera might be moving. Um, and the camera is moving, you know what, the wind, I can see the wind buffeting it around. So maybe that four second shot might have been the one to do it. Tell you what I'll do, okay. We will get uh, somebody walking into shot right now. Right through the shot. And this is always a problem when you're doing shots like this, uh, is that you will have people around. You do have to deal with people, um, which is all right, but it means that we may have just lost about 30 seconds. So how is that? Okay, actually that looks pretty good, but this still isn't sharp, and I'm pretty sure it's not sharp because of the, the thing on here. So I'm gonna take this off. We're going to go back up here to oh, it was F16, isn't it? All right, well, I'll leave it on F16, uh, uh, a 60th of a second, which has done a really, really short exposure, as opposed to a really long one. Now, you see, I'm, not, I'm still not happy with that. I still think I want to push this exposure up a bit. So we'll do 30. I want this really sharp. That's much better. The boats in the background are much better as well. So what I will have to do if I want to get that in is I'm going to have to blend in the water uh, with this final image in Lightroom when we finally get into there. So with all of that in mind, that's our first exposure. Let's go and have a look around and see if I can see anything else that might be worth taking. And here is that second shot. And what I actually had to do with this was to blend uh, the very quick photo that I took, the 60th of a second shot that I took, with the long exposure shot. So I had the nice flat water that I wanted. But you can see on the right hand side of this picture that it has that moving boat in, uh, which actually when I saw it on the final edit, I thought was quite a nice stylized way of, uh, of producing a, a shot. So what I've done on this one, there's a bit of Photoshop work in here. I blended the sharp pillar in the front uh, with the blurred boats in the background of the blurred sea. Uh, I flipped that pillar around to give it a bit of a reflection as well. And I also put a texture uh, over the top. It was a sort of metallic texture over the top. And that just helped to blend uh, the two together to give it a kind of the final look for the thing. And I do think sometimes uh, that you can do this sort of thing. You can have these artistic photos. I think they're quite artistic anyway. Um, and uh, have them uh, be something a little bit different to a kind of a normal shot, a kind of a record shot that you would take uh, if you were doing, say, landscape photography. However, this wasn't the final image of the day and I still had a little bit of beach to explore. So um, I've just walked down the beach to see if there was any other shots that I could find and there are a few, um, but not very many in terms of long exposure. So everything I've got actually at the moment is all um, <laughs> very, very fast shutter speed, sort of thousandth of a second, five hundredth of a second, really because you're shooting into the sun. Um, and everything I've got, you've got to judge in terms of kind of silhouette shots, shots that I'm probably going to turn into black and white, because that really is uh, where those particular sorts of shots are going to shine. Uh, it's an interesting little place, this. But clearly from the location and everything, it's, much, it's going to be much, much better if you were in the morning, if the sun was coming up 
from, I think it's sinking back there, so I think it's coming up from behind you, where you get some nice light uh, cast onto the boat if the boats were still here. We've got some really nice boats, um, and obviously some people lying around in, in, the, uh, in the sun, just enjoying themselves. But because it's the middle of the week, uh, we don't really have a lot of people around, uh, enough, you know, to a point where it gets in the way of doing a bit of photography like I've been doing today. Really, the only shots that I could take have been in kind of that direction, which is looking towards a bit of a headland. Uh, and if I wanted to do anything else over here, you're getting the glare in the water. But not an unpleasant glare, not a, a glare that I would want to take off with a polarizing filter, uh, for example. So anyway, it's been an interesting trip uh, so far. Uh, I've got to try and find somewhere to be for a sunset tonight. But uh, let's just take a quick look at some of the pictures that I was able to get. And here they are. And in particular, I liked this picture that I had of a, well, I suppose it was a, you'd call it a cabin, um, and this other picture of an overturned boat, both of which uh, were the only shots that day that had the sun pointing in the right direction. Although this isn't a bad idea if you have a day that's incredibly bright and sunny to try some photography uh, that relies on you having those silhouettes in order to create uh, the final image. As I said, I think the first image that we saw today was actually my favorite of this particular trip. But I do also like this one of a boat pointing out uh, towards the sea, pointing out towards the other boats. And I quite like the way uh, that the boat's facing as if it's it's uh, moving out of the shot uh, for you. And I do think this is one of the ways that you can kind of start to tell stories of the shot or have shots uh, that tell you something about the subject that you're looking at. Anyway, that's it for today's video. I hope you've enjoyed what you've seen. Um, if you have, then please hit that like button. And if you're new here, then please, of course, click on subscribe, click on the little bell icon at the end and the all notifications tab that comes up. And then anytime I make a new video, you're going to get to hear about it first. Until next time, thanks ever so much for coming along. It's been uh, a lovely trip to pool in this particular video. Next week, I've got a trip to somewhere that is even more special, uh, something that a lot of uh, people uh, will, uh, will be sort of envious of because it was quite a nice uh, trip. Anyway, look, that's enough for me fine right now. I'll let you get away. But don't forget, as always, keep taking those pictures.